It was day two of singer R. Kelly's sex trafficking trial in federal court in Brooklyn, with Johanda Pace, previously known as Jane Doe No. 4, taking the stand. She was admitted to hours of cross-examination as the defense tried to poke holes in her story. CBS 2's Jessica Moore live in downtown Brooklyn with the latest on this. Jessica. Christine and Dick, Deronda's claim has been that Kelly exposed her to herpes without her knowledge. And in what could turn out to be a potentially significant moment for the defense during cross-examination, Kelly's lawyers used the witness's own testimony to show that not only did Kelly tell her he had the STD, he actually physically examined her for the disease. Defense counsel walking into federal court for day two of R. Kelly's sex trafficking trial. Looking forward to the truth being told. Kelly accuser Geronda, at nine months pregnant, returned for a second day of testimony. She told the jury Kelly mentally and physically abused her, making her wait as long as three days to use the bathroom and forcing her to dress up as a Girl Scout when they had sex. Their sexual relationship began when Geronda was only 16, and she says Kelly recorded it. Defense attorneys trying to poke holes in her story, painting her as a crazed fan. At one point, Kelly's attorney asked the witness, quote, you were stalking him, weren't you? The defense accused Geronda of breaking into Kelly's home, waiting hours for his autograph, and even skipping school to support him at a previous trial, which she lied to her mother about. Now, their stories may have changed, their memories have faded, and that's normal, and that's what the defense is going to be zeroing in on. Geronda also admitted she'd received two financial settlements from Kelly and had written a book about their relationship, which earned her at least $25,000. Kelly's defense accused Geronda of lying for financial gain. Geronda fought through tears as she read a journal entry from the day she left Rob, reading, quote, I went to Rob's house and Rob called me a silly expletive. He slapped me three times and said if I lie to him again, it's not going to be an open hand next time. He spit in my face and mouth. He choked me during an argument. I had sex with him. I had oral sex with him. Then I became fed up with him, meaning Rob, and came home and confessed. At least four other women are expected to take the stand testifying against Rob Kelly, uh, excuse me, R. Kelly. And tonight we are learning that R. Kelly could take the stand in his own defense, but that would be several weeks away. We're live at the Brooklyn Federal Courthouse. Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. Jessica, thank you.